Welcome to all. This video will help you to understand basics of astronomy. Have you ever imagined how the Earth looks from space? Now technology has made it simple to see that through various sources and photographs. All of us must have looked up at the sky at least once in our life. What a beautiful sight it is. Millions of stars, beautifully arranged and are in different patterns. Our ancestors did imagine and connected these stars to different forms seen on Earth. They were called as constellations. Have you ever wondered how our ancestors navigated ships looking at these stars and constellations? Is it a lost art? Was it very much difficult? Earlier wise men used to say that practice makes man perfect. So let us see if we can navigate using stars and sun. If yes, how to do that? Before we proceed further, let us check how positions are determined on earth. As you have seen just now, it is by means of latitude and longitude. Suppose you are in a flight, then how the position is determined? Then three factors determine, latitude, longitude and altitude above sea level. So basically positions on Earth's surface are two-dimensional and positions in space are three-dimensional. To study astronomy further, we must know about celestial sphere. Our ancestors thought that Earth is at the center of universe, because that is what they observed by naked eye. Sun, stars and moon rises in the east and sets in the west. So by these principle, Earth does not move but everything else moves around Earth. Celestial sphere is an imaginary sphere with Earth at its center. All celestial bodies move in the celestial sphere in different tracks. So all points in Earth were projected into celestial sphere. Equator in Earth when projected into celestial sphere became celestial equator. Position of observer when projected upwards to overhead became zenith. Parallels of latitude when projected into celestial sphere became declination circles. Longitudes when projected into celestial sphere became meridians. So knowing position of a star in our sky, we can calculate our position on Earth. Seamen use two methods for the same purpose. To determine position, we must determine azimuth and altitude of a star. Calculation of azimuth and altitude makes what is known as celestial navigation. We use various tables such as nautical almanac and methods like spherical trigonometry. As latitude and longitude of a place does not change in Earth, declination and SHA, sidereal hour angle, of stars does not change in space. However there is considerable change in declination and hour angle of sun, moon and planets because they are much closer to Earth than stars. Now we will see the motions of star in sky. We know all celestial bodies rises in the east and sets in the west. However, the track they follow is different. Stars move along declination circles from east to west in the sky. So stars cut across meridian of the observer. We saw that meridian of observer joins pole and zenith in the sky with north and south point in the horizon. So declination circle remains same for stars throughout the year for a stationary observer in Earth. However there is change in declination circle of sun and planets in the sky on a daily basis. We can get declination and hour angle, SHA for SDRS, GHA for sun, from nautical almanac. As famous Jack Sparrow in Pirates of Caribbean series, navigated Blackbird looking at his compass, we will see how to determine our position too. We requires three nautical equipments for celestial navigation. A compass, a sextant and chronometer or ute clock. Compass to determine direction, true north and the bite to take bearing slash azimuth of the star. 
a sextant to take the altitude of the star above the horizon. Chronometer for accurate timekeeping. Now we have azimuth and altitude of the star. We will identify the star looking at star chart in our nautical almanac. From nautical almanac, we will obtain declination and SHA of the star in question. Then we will solve PZX triangle to calculate zenith distance and true azimuth. Solving PZX triangle will give us a position line and not any accurate position. Do you know the reason why question mark slash? Because zenith distance or distance of observer from star is an approximation and not an accurate figure. So we will require many subsequent observations to determine an accurate position. Do you know certain stars never set, they are known as circumpolar stars. We will learn about these in more detail in next video in our series. Please come back with suggestions and any questions. Please tell us your comments and opinions about Celestial Navigation series. And tell your friends to download and use C for app from Google Play. You can also visit us on Facebook page, Sales Global. Thank you for your attention. Wish you a great day ahead. Adios.